Stuart Rosenberg, and I'd like to welcome you to the League of Creative Musicians. This is the control room in the studio of the League, and we're happy to have you here. The console we're sitting in front of is kind of the centerpiece to the studio complex. It's a Yamaha DM2000 series board. There's also a software package that controls the board. There's a Yamaha Studio Manager package. And what's happening now is we're, uh, we're synchronizing the board with the software. And in just a moment, you'll see a, an image pop up on the screen that represents the console. What we're able to do now is we're able to, to take our session and we're able, once again, to record the session into a, Pro Tool, into a, a studio manager file and save the file. So any of the changes that we make on the board can be saved to this file and then can be brought up at any time. And this will include all the patch libraries, it'll include all the settings, it'll include all the, the, the specific changes we've made to, uh, to, any of the, um, to any of the channels. And then we've also got the ability to take a look at an individual channel. Now this, this view allows us to take a look at gating, compression, equalization, routing, sends. If we want to take a look at some of the built-in effects from the board, for instance, we've got Open Deck over here, and Open Deck is a tape simulator. And you get to actually look at the tape machine, which is kind of fun. And you get to, you get, get to, to, to use the, the, the uh, effects, essentially, as plugins in the session which is very, very useful. The board is not compatible with, uh, with, with other plugins. These are all dedicated Yamaha plugins in the board. And don't forget, we're working in the console, not in software now. Once we move back to Pro Tools, for instance, you know, we've got access to all Pro Tools plugins. So there's a huge amount of flexibility. We can also save things simply by saving the board. And there's a certain, number, certain uh, amount of memory in the board to save things. But for instance, if we were working on a, a long-term project and we wanted to save automation, we wanted, to, we wanted to basically load up the memory, we can offload all that to a studio manager file, save the studio manager file, and then when we open the studio manager file, we can, we can synchronize the board with the studio manager file, and all, the, all that memory is sort of there. You know, for instance, I've got a lot of sessions that I started in my old studio that I want to bring in here, and I can take my studio manager sessions from the old studio, load them in here, and all the EQs and all the routing and all that other stuff pops right up on this console. 